Today we're going to cover how to use gamma lead balls in your 880. There is confusion and when you do this right, these tins run anywhere from only four to five dollars for 250. It's a very good value for close range. So let's show you how to do this. Okay, so obviously we have the gamma lead balls and we have a rod. You can use wood dowel, anything the right size. Okay, so it's pretty basic. So we open up the lid and get a lead ball out. And the trick to making sure these work effectively in your 880, because from what I know, they're the only game in town now, is the gamma lead balls. Okay, now mine's already full of lead balls, so I'm going to cock this and keep that magnet in front of the gate. The gate is right there, so that way they don't interfere. Okay, so there is a quick way to do this, a long way and a quick way. That quick way is just as good. So we take your rod, we put it inside, okay? And then let's take a look at what's going on back here. There, okay, and then we back it out slightly, like three or four inches. Okay, leave it in your gun though, see, look. I still have it in the gun. Okay, so then we take a lead ball, we put it in there. Okay, now then we look for it to roll. So we're looking for that sound. So then I tip it up, tap, up, 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 up. Nope, nice and quiet, so that lead ball's good. So then what do you do? So you take your rod and tap it out. And that's a winner. So then you dump that out right there. And a good place to put it is in your tin. Okay. And that's how you do it. And my first 30 lead balls, gamma lead balls doing this, I only had two that rolled down the barrel. So now you're going to see what it looks like when they're not good to use in your 880. You can still plink around with them. Just we'll, we'll cover what happens when they're too small. Okay. So let's start from the top. I have the rod in there, back it out a little bit. And then we put the lead ball down there and this one is undersized. I'll know it is. For you, it'll be a game as you go through their tin. But now watch the difference. Okay, now if you can't hear that, I'll... Okay, so I'll back out that rod so you can hear it. Hear it. See that sound now, then when you hear it rolling around in there, then you do this, then you, there, see now, so you can hear it real time, okay? You only need three or four inches to hear it and then back it out and then let it roll out all the way. So now listen, okay, so I'm gonna put it in and listen up here. Let's see, so that one's no good, okay? Now, so then you can plink with these. If you want to throw it out, you can, but you don't use it in a gun like this where you use it um, in the field for a finishing shot or backup follow-up shot. Finishing shot, follow-up shot. Okay, so now we're going to close it up. Okay, so that one's no good. So I want to finish by talking about the ballistics on this can. It's really fascinating. Okay, so this ammo is uh, 5 to 10 yards. Okay, this is not for trying to make a 20-yard shot. The German lead balls, they wouldn't even tell you to do that. And those were, were quite a bit better. So, okay. So this is five at seven yards. I measured seven yards on just five pumps. So in the field on a finishing shot. And they punched to the other side. Now there was water in here. So realistic weight like in the field. And the, it's around an inch. It's about that. And that's a good enough accuracy, accuracy in the field. Now here it's interesting. Three of those were sized properly. And then two I found rolled down the barrel before I started seriously sorting them. So one like that, the one we just showed you. So what happens here is the three that were sized right and gripped the rifling shot through, okay? And then two that were not just dented it. So um, you don't want to try to use those in a serious uh, field um, shooting situation because it lost a lot of power. Two of the hits didn't even punch through one side of the can because they lose so much power because 
air gets around the ones that are undersized. But you can either throw them out or plink with them, but just don't put them in like my baby here, my Silver Ace. That is for serious follow-up shots and just accurate shooting in the field, plinking at cans of like 10 yards and soup cans. Okay, well, thank you. And hopefully that uh, gets rid of a lot of confusion. Remember, with the winners, put them in your tin lid. And then when you're when you got, you know, I would say 25, you want to do more, it's fine, depending on how fast you go, okay? And then you put them in your, put them in your magazine, okay? All right, thank you very much, and enjoy your gamma lead balls. As long as you're willing to take some time to sort them, they work pretty fine for close range. Thank you.